Hola everyone, I'm Miss Betty G. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video. I'm so late on this, but then again, that's kind of my thing. I'm late, late, always late. This is going to be my first Harry Potter related tag, and the tag is that I cannot talk about Harry Potter. What? This tag is the anti-Harry Potter tag, which in no way means I will be dissing my boy Harry at all because I loves me some Harry Potter. Don't get it twisted. This tag is a series of questions where you can easily default your answer to any of the Harry Potter novels, but we're not going to do that today. This tag was originally created by J.L. Todd. I will link her original video in the description below. And thank you so much, Jay, for tagging me. This is actually the first video I've been tagged on so snaps to you Jay this is a total of eight questions so let's go ahead and get started question number one a book or series you want to reread for this I decided to go with the Dollinganger series also known as flowers in the attic I was first introduced to this book by the flowers in the attic movie uh, that came out in the 90s in the I think it was in the mid 90s I um, did not discover the books until um, my late teens but I got super into them I always loved the movie they're a very dark and gothic -y type of novel this follows the Dollinganger children who lose their father in the first novel and the mother has to resort to going back home to her parents after not talking to them for years due to a family secret that the children were never told about. The rules were that the grandfather was not to know anything about these children so they had to hide in the attic until it was okay for them to be presented to the family or when the grandfather died whichever came first because the mother's goal here was to get her father's love back and get back into his will and become rich and be able to take her children away from this horrible horrible place it's not for everybody we do have we do deal with a lot of um, child neglect here we deal with uh, some incest so this definitely is not for everyone but I really enjoyed it and I would not mind rereading this again question number two a book that has a special place in your heart there's a few I could have chosen for this, but I decided to go with The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. In this, we follow a little girl named Liesel who is being sent off to an adoptive German family. Uh, her parents are communists and on the run, and this book is narrated by death itself. He follows Lethal through her journey as she grows up and falls in love with literature and words and trying to expand her vocabulary and in the same time trying to survive with these strangers that she just met and trying to stay safe and keeping the secret of her background. This book is really special to me because it is the first book that I read with my now still ongoing book club. We have read this maybe two or three years ago and um, we have, we're a trio and we have been reading together nonstop ever since. So this was definitely a great introduction to that friendship. Question number three, a book you loved as a child. For this, I decided to go with The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson. This follows Mary Lennox, a nine-year-old girl whose parents pass away. So she is being sent to her estranged uncle and cousin who she's never met in her life. I read this uh, in elementary school and I have reread it dozens of times after. I love the movie adaption to this and this definitely will always be a favorite of mine. Question number four, the first book you fell in love with. For this I chose On My Honor by Marianne Dane Bauer. This is another book that I read in elementary school. Uh, as you can see it is a very thin book. Um, but it is definitely one that um, packs a punch in it. This is the story of Joel and Tony and in this we follow two um, teenagers who are just trying to have a good time. They go they're riding their bikes and they're doing all kinds of tricks and just doing normal kid stuff 
and then they come across a lake and they decide to race to a sandbar an accident happens and now joel is left to have to explain uh, what happened <laughs> this probably was maybe one of the first books that hit me in the feels growing up um, I think I was in third grade when I read this so this is probably what got me into all the emo style type books question number five a book you'll love forever for this I have to go with the Grimm's fairy tales by the Brothers Grimm I am a huge fan of origin stories and of fairy tales and you can get more original than the Brothers Grimm so their stories are definitely ones that I will always love question number six a book you'll pass on to your kids and grandkids I do have a lot of nieces and nephews and I know they've had their eye on some of my books yeah I'm watching you Savannah one of the series that I know uh, that my nieces enjoy very much is the Goosebumps. I mean you can't go wrong with R.L. Stein. they are more fans of the movie and TV shows but when they're ready for the books and he's got them question number seven a middle grade series you love for this I'm picking the Cirque de Freak series and it only has 12 books you guys so you know what's 12 books in this we follow the spider obsessed weirdo named Darren Sean who is put in a position of having to choose between his life or his friends and by this I mean he needs to save his friend's life and the only way of doing that is by becoming this vampire Larchin Krepsley's assistant. In order to do this he needs to leave his family, friends and disappear from the world entirely. As we're going through um, these novels the story definitely keeps changing and the magic changes too. We have witches, we have wolves, we have different races of vampires going on. There's a lot of fighting going on in here. There's a lot of blood and guts and it's a good series. And if you're like me, you'll probably want more of this world once you're done. So there is a prequel that follows Larton Krebsley, the main vampire we meet. And I think that has like six books of its own. So that's a lot of books. So that's a good time. Question number eight, a book with magic. For this, I'm going to go with Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. This story follows Alice's adventures in Wonderland where she comes across a plethora of crazy different characters. This is definitely the OG triple OG of magic in books, I think. Well, that and the Brothers Grimm. Well, that's going to be it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are on some of these books. I really want to know, have you read these? Have you heard of these? Are you interested in reading some of these? Let me know in the comments below if you have read any of these books. Again, thank you, uh, JL, for tagging me in this. And I will put the questions in the description below in case anybody else is interested. I'm still very new to El Jutu. So I don't think I want to, I will be tagging anyone in this just yet. I might tag some people on Twitter. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll see where my head is at once I get down to the nitty gritty of it. So uh, if I don't tag anyone, please consider, and you're interested, please consider yourself tag and do this video. Let me know what your answers are, but no Harry Potter. Thank you again for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to hear more from me. Until the next time, happy reading friends. Adios!